business. You know, people don't buy new cars, they repair old cars. This is the guy's very smart back there. People don't buy new shoes, they repair old shoes. Get in the repair business. So, I mean, you know, there is, there's always opportunities to make money no matter what happens. Just because he can, now if you're starting, you know, if you got, uh, you know, the London chop house and, 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 the, and the business goes down, the tubes, or the economy, you know, and, and they change the tax laws a little bit, it's a little, little dicey out there. And I like Carl's chop house, they got a plan, okay? And what's their plan? He knows this, see? They're gonna bring strippers in there, yeah, that's... <laughs> Carl says, you know, business sucks, okay, we'll bring in some strippers. <laughs> There's always a need for fine culture. <laughs> Do we get this? I mean, you don't just have to wait, you know, and, and people are making tons of money right now on the internet and, and eBay and stuff like that, you know. Uh, poor choice of opportunity. Those are some businesses I would not start. What are some businesses I might take a look at? These are the hottest businesses we've been able to identify for the next three to five years out of Wayne State University. You may want to write some of these down. These are the good ones out there. First one is, Manufacturing orange barrels. <laughs> They're everywhere. Now see, that's a joke, that's a joke. See, I'm not really manufacturing orange barrels, but that's the first time I've shown that slide, and maybe the last time I showed that slide, too. Yeah. Uh, here's some hot business, Mexican restaurants. If Taco Bell can make it, anybody can. Holy smokes. Child care and office building. So out of curiosity, do they, is there any child care center in the, uh, the Coleman Young building here? No. How many people, if they had child care here, how many people would use that resource? How many people would drop their kids off? Do we have anybody that's got kids in here? Okay, would you use that? Would you drop them off there? Possibly, because you don't have to drive out of your way in the morning. You don't have to drive out of your way in the evening. And 10.30 in the morning, instead of having a cigarette break or a coffee break, you can run downstairs and make sure that Billy or Biffy aren't being terrorized by somebody. Good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Nursing homes. Man, oh man, you put somebody in a nursing home, you know what it costs nowadays? Who's got people in nursing homes right now? How much does it cost you? Um, I can not tell you personally, but I know it's a bit. <laughs> yeah, anybody, anybody got a price? Yeah, yes sir. 1800 a month. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm moving in there. <laughs> 3500 a month, sometimes even five grand a month. You know, they, they, people work their, you know, their whole life to, to acquire assets, to leave their children, and then, you know, one year later, they're, they're, you know, they're, 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 their fortune is gone. It's the reason I put my parents in the basement, you know, and <laughs> give them dog food to eat. Cut down on the expenses. Home security. I know somebody had that up there. What they do in home? Oh, we, we talked about. Yeah, yes, sir. Home security, electronic supply stores, management consulting, like this young lady in the orange is doing. Uh, virtual assistants, computer repairs. Well, I don't know. You know, you can't make. <laughs> you know, like these people make these computers. I've got one up here that's screwed up. Those of you that came early. You can't make money manufacturing those things unless your name is Dell. It's not even Dell makes the money. Intel makes the money and Microsoft makes the money on those computers. Nobody else does. And uh, I'm talking about the repair business. Get in there. You know, I said, well, you can't make any money doing that. People hire the geek squad to come out there and help them install this stuff. And how much is a geek squad costing you? $100 plus an hour. The geek squad. They aren't so geeky now. I could have used one tonight, to be honest with you. I couldn't get all this stuff to interface with each other. Let's see what else we got here. Bathtub refinishing, not the most glamorous business in the world, but one you can make a lot of money in. Importing. I personally love importing. Why do you think the United States, month after month, quarter after quarter, runs into these trade deficits? Because people are making money on importing. And with all the changes taking place in Europe, all the changes taking place in Asia, all the changes taking place in Russia, or whatever it's called this week, this will continue to grow over the next three to five years. Importing. And please notice I said importing, not exporting. As Soon as we start running trade surpluses, I'll scratch that out, put in the word exporting, but the money to be made now is in terms of importing. 
Those are the hottest businesses we've been able to run across. Now, if you wrote these things down, and if you get one idea of tonight's workshop, draw an X right through the middle of them, because they do not matter. Here's the secret of financial success in the area of small business, and nobody's going to tell you this secret. I'm the only person on the planet that's going to tell you this. Why? Because everybody else wants to sell you a business in a box. Here it is, folks. This is your escape move from the world of tyranny of employment and start your own small business. And they're on TV, they're on the Novi Business Expo, they're out there all the time, and they're trying to sell you a business in the box. And don't look at it, don't look at the hot businesses. I could care less what the hot businesses are. Here's the secret of financial success in the area of small business. Step number, you know, a lot of people say, where do I go to make the dollars, the moolah, the green stuff? What's going to be the next hot businesses? Here's the secret. Step number one, find something that you enjoy doing. Find something that you enjoy doing. Why? Because if you enjoy doing something, you'll put in the hours. It'll be a hobby for you. You put in the hours, you're going to become good at it. If you enjoy doing something, you put in the hours, you become good at it. That's when you make the money. And don't you ever let somebody say to you, well, you should sell cleaning products, you should sell vitamins, you should get in the laundromat business. Welcome to the wonderful world of water purification. All those bids are absolutely perfect for some people, but they're not so good for the rest of us. Why? Because we're all what? We're different. Every person here tonight has got unique God-given abilities that 99% of the world's population does not possess. Every person here tonight is a flat-out genius. Yeah. Certain things, absolutely. And you suck at most things. <laughs> at least I do. And the secret of financial success is to find the things that you are good at. And usually it's only one or two things. So, you know, find the things that you are good at. For example, and we're all different, how many people enjoy doing accounting? Okay, a couple sickos out there, yes. Get some therapy, for heaven's sakes. How many people hate accounting? Okay, good, you don't want to be a CPA. You look like a CPA, but don't become a CPA. He said, I don't want to be a CPA. You know, find something that you enjoy doing. How many people in here are night people, enjoy the night a little better than the day? I'm with you folks, I normally don't quit throwing up to around 11 o'clock in the morning. I hate mornings. One of the things I'm responsible for is working with you for the next three years and applying this information, but it's a little bit later on. But, you know, don't call me in the morning. I like to have a nice meal before I go to work at Wayne State. It's called lunch. You know. But then again, I'm there until 9, 10 o'clock at night. You know, so it's like I like the night. How many people are morning people? Enjoy the morning a little better than the day. Good, you see this young lady here running a bar? Holy smokes, is it 10 minutes to 7 already? Man, am I getting sleepy. When are you folks going to go home? See, the secret of financial success is to find something that you enjoy doing. That's my problem with these people who sell business opportunities. They don't ever sit there and say, okay, what are your likes, what are your dislikes? What do you enjoy doing? Um, what have you been successful at over the years? What have your friends and family told you that you're good at? You know, these are all questions they should get inside your head, not trying to sell you a business in a box. Do we get this, kind of? So watch out. You know how to tell when a business opportunity salesperson is lying to you? They move their lips, exactly right, yeah. <laughs> I was going to show you tonight, but it didn't work out. I was on Carol Kane's uh, TV show about a, a year and a half ago this time, and one of, the, one of the reasons I was on there for a half an hour is because I was explaining and I was terrifying of these people who are taking buyouts from these large corporations. You know, the Ford, General Motors, Chrysler, they're giving them $150,000, they just don't come into work next Monday. I said, okay, sounds good to me, and I know what's going to happen. These people are going to go out there, and after about two weeks, they're going to say, hey, I'll buy a business, and then I'll, then I'll be, then be successful in there and, and be my own boss. And there's a whole bunch of people out there that are really uh, evil people, like I don't know, whatever they are. Here's the secret of success in the area of small business. Honor thy talent. Everybody here has got unique God-given abilities that 99% of the people don't have. What are your abilities? And that's what we've got to focus in on in our classes. What are the abilities that you have that are unique?